at a minus r and a plus r, the series may convert. Buh, 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 buh. It's the same thing as before, folks. There's really nothing different to this. Okay, it's really the same stuff. You don't need to memorize all that jargon. Okay, plus you only have a week left and you graduate anyway. So at this point, who really cares? Okay, uh, I'm, boy, I'm looking outside here, and one of my neighbors is running. I should. I wish I had a my cell phone here. He really is walking. Um, he he his run is like a walk. I think I actually walk faster than he runs. But all right. Here's the last one. Find the interval and the radius of convergence. It's the same directions over and over and over. You notice the x, so therefore it's a power series. You can pick that out right away. But I don't even think you'd have to do all this on the AP test. So that's going to give you this. So we have our interval of convergence. My handwriting is getting worse as this goes on. So the interval of convergence at negative 4 we converge, at 6 we converge, at both of the endpoints we converge. Okay, or we can say 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6. Same darn thing. Who cares? Okay, and then we have the radius of convergence. Da, da, da. If the denominator is larger than the numerator, then that means that the fraction is less than 1. That means that your terms are decreasing. Magnitude of terms decreases to 0. You're probably not even listening to what I'm saying at this point. Okay, you're just ready to be out of here okay um, but but there you go